the children and caretakers at the home Namise started in 2004 are struggling to come to terms with her departure. They say Namise played a big role in many children's lives who otherwise may have landed on the streets without proper care. Currently, 36 children live at the home. <laughs> A big tree has fallen. We are mourning. She was known all over because of her good deeds. She took care of the orphans and vulnerable children. I have experienced her love, and I can only imagine what these little ones that are always with her are feeling right now. In the last interview that she had with NBC, she pleaded with mothers not to throw away their children, but to bring them to her so that she can take care of them. That is the type of person she was, and she was not only a mother to her children, but to many children. And today, she has left a huge gap. They can bring them to Orlinti place of safety. I will take care of the babies. And, 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 and if they are afraid to go to Women and Child Protection Unit or to go to Ministry of Gender, they can just bring them here. The loving way she stayed with the children is a good example she left with us. And I'm praying that we continue with that. I'm also hoping that whoever comes to run the place will have the same heart and compassion as Mommy Claudia. Throughout her life, Namises cautioned her birth children not to allow any child to be left on the streets if she dies. Namises also contested as an independent candidate in the 2020 local authority and regional council elections for Katutura East constituency. She is survived by four biological children and died at the age of 67. Selima Henok, NBC News, Vantuk.